Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Starfield series here on Not Your Professional Walkthroughs channel. In the previous episode we finally joined the three star rangers and we started to do a big first mission for them where we went to this farm which was being harassed by mercenaries who stole a ship from this company where we currently are and so we spoke to the ceo and they obviously did not want to release the information because if other companies would find out that hey they allow other people to come on board and steal their ships that can really damage their reputation with security and all these things and clients would not be that willing to purchase ships from them because they would be afraid that hey if someone can steal their ship this easily maybe they can steal mine so i'm gonna go to their competitor so we are now gonna have to go to a brand new system where there is another ranger and we're gonna have to find out uh, what to do so question is where are we going so it looks like we're gonna go to the volley system and uh, i don't know probably haven't been there before so we're gonna Jump to that sector. Restart collective space. Hold while we scan your ship. And we have to wait until right. we are scanned. Good. So let's take a look. Uh, we can do the scan of this planet. It seems like it's a water world. It literally has nothing but water and benzene. But there's like one station, and that's neon. And it seems like that's actually where I need to go. Other planets we can scan, but it le looks like there's just iron, aluminium, and benzene. There's nothing over there. Uh, water and... Uh, what's the damn thing called in English? Uh, I know the Latin words, but... God damn it, it's not, just not clicking in right now. This is an interesting planet, but yeah... I'm really not that interested. Uh, when it comes to s settlement, I still haven't managed to get around to making one. Uh, the main reason why is... Uh, I have been looking over the guides on YouTube. And most of them are... Uh, not the best source of information. I have been messing around with like the most recommended places. Where I should go and see which planet or moon of a planet would be the best potential spot for a early settlement but i think i will have to go to an entirely different system and see what can be done so i was also considering uh maybe buying another ship but uh, with the fact that this one so far works pretty damn well I'm gonna stick to it. It's able to deal with enemies. It has those phaser beams which are able to deal with the other ship's shields. The missiles work well in combination with this. I don't have the third variation of weaponry, but it's not that important. And maybe, maybe I will go and change around the ship's layout. Maybe I'll try to lift it up a little bit more and i will just change around things but i'll mess around with that off the recording because you can spend an hour messing with ship design and eventually you're still gonna find out that hey they don't have the necessary components for you to be able to support the weight of this vessel and so the landing gear is just not going to be able to hold this thing and so if it cannot land on the surface yeah the ship just is not gonna work so we're gonna have to mess around with things and find out what's up i'm gonna take a look there's some ship service uh i might be able to purchase aid one thing which i want uh is definitely the ship parts ship parts ship parts uh those can be obtained during combat if you destroy enemy ships but to be perfectly honest it's it's better to have this stuff already in your inventory but i don't think they actually do carry any of it so that's not good uh i can try and sell from my ship i do have only these weapons uh 
but I don't really carry that many things right now. Can I buy stuff, actually? That's what I'm trying to figure out. No, they don't have anything. So they have 5,000 credits, which I would be able to get. But... Yeah, we're, we're just gonna run and see what can be done. This is actually quite interesting. A whole planet is one giant ocean. And they imported this massive platform. Looks like an, some sort of oil rig or something. They have to be mining stuff in here. I, I don't understand why else would they have a base here. Not great. Doc Manning better get his act together before the place shuts down. Okay, I have no idea who's talking to who. So I'll just go up. So, we are looking for a smuggler or a guy who was able to steal the ship for the mercenaries. This is honestly giving me the Outer Worlds vibes a little bit. But if I would do a comparison, I would probably compare this to No Man's Sky. And I would compare the Outer Worlds with Fallout 4. I was wondering if it would work better to do comparison with the Starfield and the, the Outer Worlds. But there's just not enough things for me to truly compare that well. So I think I'm gonna stick with that potential plan for now, but who knows, who knows. I might change it up, uh, I'm, I'm gonna see what's up. Man, you have a nice office! God, hey, damn. I don't care who you work for. You can't just. Oh, you're the rookie, aren't you? Why the hell were you looking away? You must be Ranger Price. The one and only. Well, the Marshal's message said you were following a lead about a stolen ship. Truth is, a lot of stolen goods flow through here. But this city is real good at keeping its secrets, even from us. I'm sure the people of Neon want to uphold the law. We'll see about that. You're not listening. This isn't Aquila City. The badge doesn't carry the same weight here. The people who run this place aren't overly concerned about the law. Our job is to keep the peace, make sure the violence doesn't get out of hand. The last thing anyone around here wants is some hotshot deputy looking in every dark corner. I won't cause trouble. Good. Your stolen ship would have had to land at the spaceport. If it was right off the factory floor, it would have stood out. There's a guy I know, Billy Clayton, does maintenance work around the city and keeps an eye on ship traffic for me. I'll introduce you, but don't expect a favor. Even if it doesn't cause credits, nothing in Neon is free. Okay, take me to Billy Clayton. Come on. Man, you seriously have like a lovely freaking office. I'm not really keen on like having the table right next to the doors. Because if some weirdo comes in and starts shooting up the place, yeah, I'm the first one who's gonna get shot. But yeah, definitely. Nice, nice office. So let's see what this, this place has to offer. I at least managed to switch from the Equinox laser rifle to this new one, which I have. It's quite interesting because it has two barrels which, like, merge together in certain distance. No wonder the marshal tried to recruit you right away. If he hadn't would have made him look like a fool having some random stranger step in and do the job he couldn't. Now, someone tried to hold up a bank. Now he's talking and in the middle of the conversation goes through doors. But right. you understand. Good to see you. That's why you just told me that you won't cause trouble. Keep that in mind, and you'll fit right in. I really wanna set up a outpost eventually because honestly I believe you can do a total playthrough of the game without ever having a single outpost. I know that I played through Fallout on multiple occasions where I did not build up any freaking settlement and uh, I believe the same can be applied here. 
You can extract the resources which you need on planets or just find them as salvage if you destroy enough ships. They might have iron and other resources for you to craft up whatever. And when it comes to building a ship, all you need are actual credit. What the hell did I just see there, Bethesda? So I think things can be done. Hey, Billy. Got a second? What? Oh, it's you. Give me a good scare. I thought you were one of Goodman's people. Check. Far from it. Our new deputy here is working a case, and I thought you might be able to help. Take it away, rookie. Okay, let's see what's up. What do you need? A stolen Hope Tech ship landed here recently. I need information on the pilot. Hmm. A stolen Hope Tech ship, huh? Well, here's the thing. Neon's got no end of shipjackers. I see them come and go every day. It's tough for a guy to remember one from the other. You know what I mean? Okay. Uh, people could be in danger. Don't make me persuade you the hard way. Maybe this will jog your memory. Mm, credits ain't really what I need. There is something you could do for me. Okay. I can help you. But right now my life is in danger and I haven't even done anything wrong. Freestar Rangers are supposed to protect the innocent, right? Yeah, you don't sound too innocent, but okay. Then you need to hear this. It's about my brother. He died while still in debt to a syndicate loan shark by the name of Emmett Goodman. Now, Goodman's coming after me to collect. He says if I don't pay up, I'm a dead man. Okay, uh, we can try to mess around with the persuasion. Now tell me what you know about the Starship Thief. From where I'm standing, it seems like our problems are intertwined like a couple of fuel lines in a thruster assembly. Okay, I know you'd like to help me if you could. What's the harm if you tell me? No, I can't. Sorry. Uh, I know you have your reason. I'm just trying to help. Look, I'd like to help, but... I'm sure you can work out something. Nobody will ever know you told me. I wish I could. Yeah, we're gonna try one once again. Uh, it just always is about trying to find the the right thing to say to hey, the Billy. people. A second? This is why it's important for oh, you to save up. Give me a good scare. I you were Moonshine, coffee. Drink. Looks like some sort of shop or cantina. Can I help you? Take it away, rookie. Okay, let's what do you need? let's see what's up. So mm. stolen hope sh well, tech ship, blah 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 blah. Uh, okay, mm, let's go with the same option. Free star rangers. Blah blah blah. To... Yeah 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 yeah. Uh, Please, I'm begging you. Okay. It's about my brother. He died. Now Goodman's coming after me to collect. I'll talk to this loan shark, but you better make it worth my what time. I swear it on my best. Ah, uh, sure, let's Goodman's go for it. Up in one of the warehouses on Ebside. Place is locked up tight, but there's a guard. I'll stay with Billy in case Goodman's men come to collect. They're not stupid enough to tangle with me. So, am I to go on an entirely different planet, or is this still here? That's why I need to know. Now it seems like we're still gonna be working with this location. I just stole that person's elevator in front of their face. I'm such an ass. Okay, let's see what the hell do they do here. So it's looking like they do a lot of fishing. What the fudge is that thing? Holy crap! That stuff lives in the water? It, it looks like some sort of... Goddamn! A mini Godzilla or something. Holy hell! That's some pretty damn impressive stuff. Okay, hold on. I just want to take a photo of this. Unfortunately, uh, I haven't really figured out... Yeah, yeah, shut up. I haven't really figured out a best way to, like, take the photos in the photo mod and be able to transfer them into Steam Library. So what I have to do is actually, like, go 
uh, open the photos and take a snapshot while I'm logged into the game so that they are in the Steam library. It, it's like double the damn work. It just... It's unfortunate that the DM stuff does not transfer immediately there. It would just save me some time. I don't think I'm supposed to be pick locking or lock picking or whatever in here. Or should I? Security level novice. Uh. Yeah, this one is gonna work like so. Then we need to go with this. And uh, this one is gonna work too. So that we can do this. Oh, for fuck's sake, seriously? Why is it unlocked? A goddamn toilet? It can't be serious. For sure. Once you step inside, it's all chill vibe. Oh man, I could have bypassed it through here. Well, that's awkward. Yeah, I'm, I'm still a little bit disappointed about like the surface map of the game. Could have seen better details. This is private property. Okay. You better keep walking. This is private property. Okay. Uh, I need to get in there. It's important. Show badge. I don't think showing the batch is gonna do the job. Do you now? I know you like to help me. I know there's a way to get past this. I'd like to think so. I know, uh, I can't wait. Need to let me through. I understand you can't let anyone through. Rules are rules. Well, that's... Uh, thank you. You go in, talk to the man, and then you come right back out. Try anything stupid, and it's your funeral. And I kind of believe that shit worked, but uh, here goes something, I guess. Yeah, I bet I would find something really nice in here. That, that, yeah, uh, still using the same weapons over and over. Really disappointing. At least in Fallout, you're able to take, like, a plasma pistol and turn it into plasma rifle, but I really haven't noticed something like that in here. Well, now, look here. Man, you guys look all the same. Well, now, always happy to have a visitor. Tell me, what brings you by, friend? Little light on credits, are you? Uh... I'm here talk about debt you're trying to collect from Billy Clayton ah, it's awful kind of you to intervene on my behalf but I think I have the matter well in hand thank you all the same for your concern uh, Billy doesn't know you a thing the debt is in his brother's name well, that's where you're wrong Cal agreed to my terms including collection from family on the event of his passing. Can you show me a signed it paperwork? He dragged Billy into it. But make no mistake, that's exactly what he did. What's your stake in this anyway? I need uh the idea of putting some fear in scumbag like you sounded like fun. If you think I'm afraid of some loudmouth deputy, you've got a lot to learn. Well, I can start shooting the damn place. Then offer me something I want, and I'll consider it. Okay. Uh, you're wasting your time. Billy hasn't got money. You don't help me. The Free Star Rangers might hold a grudge. You're testing my patience. Billy doesn't have the money. I don't think that's going to work. Well, that ain't wrong. Uh, do this for me and I'll owe you one. The rangers can make your life real difficult if we want to. Let's just calm down now. I suppose I could make an exception. It's just this once, you understand. It just promise me you'll keep my compassionate nature a secret. Folks might try to take advantage. 
Starting to think I might have to invest into that goddamn persuasion. Uh, tech tree a little bit. I, I just... They, they did not go for, like, charisma and things like that. So you can truly probably work up your character to be whatever the heck you, you want it to watch. be. And you do understand I can shoot your literal head so away of off your body. When's the report due? Man, I would just... Oh my god, that ship looks so cute from up here. It raises the question, where the hell did I see the other one land? Ah, yeah, there it is, okay. Is this the elevator? So this should address the issue. Okay, sorry, got a little interrupted. Let's go. Talk to them. Man, I cannot believe this worked out so well. But putting at least one point into persuasion might not be the worst thing. So are you two knuckleheads? Frank Rennick's all in a twist because his robot got vandalized. I don't we care. We had a good laugh about it back at the studio. It's kind of weird that I can hear one person talk about some side quest. Half across the goddamn platform. Did you talk to Goodman? A person persuaded him to give up yeah. on your gap. Figured he wouldn't want to make an enemy of the Freestar Rangers. Glad well, the badge still means something around here. Hmm. The Syndicate doesn't worry all that much about the Rangers. I think our new deputy here is just a real smooth talker. Okay. Time for me to keep my end of the bargain. The woman you're looking for is named Grace Early. Stealing ships is her line of work. She usually comes here to sell the goods. Rumor has it she just finished a job for some mercenary outfit. And she's been throwing money around, so must have paid well. I know her. When she isn't out on a job, she's a regular at Madame Sauvage's. That's on the upper platform. I'll back you up. Yeah, I've walked past the damn joint a few times. So let's go. Because this is nothing but a bunch of freaking fetch quests. No, that's not what I'm saying at all. Oh You've my god, move. At least half your power your Throw a freaking grenade in here. Okay, hopefully the music is not licensed. Look, I ain't gonna stand around here all day. She really doesn't look like she's throwing that much money around. I was here to spoil my day. Am I right? A free star ranger and his... What are you? A sidekick or something? Please look at me when you're talking to me, goddammit. Now that's what I call real conviction. So how come I'm talking to the sidekick instead of the ranger? Uh, this is the deputy's case. Is that so? And you had to bring backup just for little old me? <laughs> I'm flattered. Anyway, this ain't my first interrogation, so let's just get on with it. There's no need to make things difficult. <laughs> that remains to be seen. I'm guessing this is the part where you tell me that you've got questions and that you expect me to answer them. That sound about right? I know you stole the ship, but people might be in danger and I need your help. Don't play games, I know you stole the ship and you're going to tell me why. You jacked the ship from Hope Tech, don't bother denying it. So I stole a ship. Nobody got hurt. I didn't even keep the damn thing. It was a contract, I was hired to get it for some men. I don't even know where it is now. It was just a job. Ah, uh, they were mercenaries who threatened a woman to get her farm. They provided means for mercenaries to intimidate and threaten innocent person. Look, they didn't tell me what they were gonna do. How was I supposed to know they were gonna go after some farmer? You should have asked when you took the contract. That's if not that how stealing stuff works. Did you think about that? I. No, I, I guess I didn't. Okay, persuade, enough small talk. Uh, there's still some time to make things right. Please help me, I could lock you up for the starship theft alone. No, I, I can't be locked up again. Look, if I help you, then you have to promise me that you won't put me away. I, I need your word. Ironclad. 
No deal until I get some answers. All right, fine. I was approached by a woman named Maya Cruz. Said she was a senior member of the first and that she had a job for me. She was working with someone inside Hope Tech and pitched me on the idea of jacking a ship right out of the factory. We were deep into planning the job when she had some kind of medical emergency. She said she needed surgery and would be in recovery for a long time. That was a few weeks ago. Haven't heard from her since. Go on. Not long after that, I got a message from a guy named Marco. He said he was the money man for the first and he offered half up front. Never met him directly though. It was always through intermediaries and using encrypted slates. Got the feeling he was paranoid as hell. Do you have one of those encrypted slates on you right now? Yeah. Here, take it. I'm done with all this. Anything else you want to know? Uh, did anyone in the first give you a way to contact them? No. Nothing at all. <laughs> Left me feeling a little disappointed, given how well they paid me. Did Marco ever give you his location? Not so much as a hint. I'll tell you. He's as cagey a fixer as I've ever met. Bankroll in the first must take a lot of money. I'm sure he's got all kinds of side hustles going on. What do you know about the men that delivered the ship to? Nothing, really. I was told when and where to meet them. They paid me what I was owed, and that was it. Okay. I think we're done here. Works for me. Next time you're at the Rock, you should give that encrypted slate to Ranger Alex Shadid. He's got a gift for cryptography. If anyone could crack that slate, it'll be him. I'm gonna head back. Good luck, Deputy. Then I'm free to go. Uh, if you promise your shipjacking days are over, then yeah, you're free to go. Suits me. I'm getting too old for this line of work. Besides, I'm going out on a high note. Ain't many can say they grabbed a ship right out of Hope Deck. Should make a good story for the kids one day. Yeah, that that's a terrible example Hello. to give to your kids. Please don't do something dumb as that. Good work, yeah, good working with you too, man. And now I have to go God knows where to a different planet for God knows what. I have to go and get some decryption done. Cheyenne. Going to Cheyenne. We're going to this and the Kila City. Hey, I just took a photo of this. And that is one scary ass looking fish or whatever the hell it is. I bet it's CC though. Slightly confused on the design. Like I'm not sure if those are like fins or what the hell am I looking at? But who knows? I don't really think I have that many things even that I would be able to sell. All the weapons and everything that I do carry around, it's just stuff that I use. Maelstrom is found everywhere, like every pirate has it. So you're easily able to find the ammo, while the ammo for the rifles which you have for like lasers and so on and such. Feel free to look around. A little bit more difficult to get your hands on. Uh, do you have ship components or ship parts? And you have a lot of food. God damn, 1,125? Okay, I'll buy them. I'll have to drop them on board of the ship because if you have them in your inventory, uh, they just do not work. So I don't know if I can still Go to the cargo hold, inventory, aid, and through doing this, you are able to actually drop these things in. And I have a lot of goddamn food. And we're gonna store. So let's go talk to our ranger friends. Man, this is one long ass freaking mission. You 
go to planet A, you talk to this guy. You go to planet B, you have to, I don't know, persuade that person or go do and find out stuff hey, for another person. Welcome to the rock. If you're looking for the rangers, check the upper level. This is what we call the principle of falling crap. You just have to keep going and going and fetching and looking for and blah blah blah. Hey, I wondered when you might come by. I'm Alex. Nia's report said you were heading for Neon? I've always wanted to go there. What did you think? Uh, don't really care for it. What? You serious? Well, that's a first. I guess not everyone likes to have a good time. Speaking of which, on to business. So how'd it go? Turn up anything useful? Give encrypted slate. I need your help with encryption on the slate. Oh, come to daddy, my sweet little mystery slate. I see lots of coffee and late nights ahead. Now, if you get any more of these, bring them to me. It helps if I can compare different instances of the encryption they're using. Just look for me up here. I have no life. So, I'm not usually hard to find. Okay, have fun with that. Uh, how long will it take to break the encryption? It'll take as long as it takes. You can't rush a job like this. But one thing I can promise you, though, is that it'll go a lot faster if I don't have to answer silly questions. Yeah, 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 I'm counting on You're you. You're counting on me. You know I outrank you, right? Please and thank you go a long way when addressing your betters, rookie. You really want to talk shit to me when I have this gun you pointed at your face? To Good to know. Okay, let's go report to our boss. Let's talk for a minute. Welcome back. Any luck finding out who stole that ship from Hope Tech? I was able to track down the thief with Ranger Price's help. Glad you got a chance to meet him. Sounds like you're making real progress. Eh. Well, thanks, I think I'm getting the hang of you're this. You're off to a good start, but that's all it is. A start. What did you learn from this starship thief? Scouted big time, got the names of two high-ranking first members, Maya Cruz and Marco. Well done, deputy. Sounds like you've got a couple of new leads to follow up on. I have a guess who Marco might. I served with Maya Cruz. She's a technical genius and an expert hacker. I could give you some background if you want it, or we can go straight to planning your next move. I need some information to track them down. Like what? Uh, where would someone go for long-term medical treatment? Most likely place would be the clinic. It's in Freestar Collective Space and provides the best medical services credits can buy. They also guarantee privacy, so it's an ideal place for someone trying to keep a low profile. Ranger Ben Armistead is posted there. I'll send him an update on the situation. Okay, Marco keeping his location secret. How can I find him? Around the time he got out of jail, we started hearing Marco's name in circulation. Word is he's heading up a smuggling racket. Based on what you've learned, I presume he's funneling his ill-gotten gains to the first Ranger Autumn McMillan is out at Red Mile right now, looking into the smuggling operation. I suggest you pool your resources. Uh, just remember, that's outside Freestar Collective Space, so we've got no jurisdiction there. Okay, uh, that's enough to go on. Your priority is to gather more intel about the first. What are they planning? Who are they working for? Where are they headquartered? Just remember that your targets were locked up because they were loyal to their unit. They think the Freestar Collective betrayed them. In other words, you ain't gonna get a warm welcome. So be careful. Good hunting, Deputy. Okay. Um, so let's see. We have to go to God knows what system now. Is it the Narian system? Yep. Let's make that jump. Man, 
man, that's one boxy looking stuff. It is so cool to see a planet like that with a freaking moon somehow orbiting next to the ring of the asteroid fields. You would assume that it would actually collapse or try to collect as much of the resources from that ring because it might have its own gravitational pull. It does not need to have its own orbit, it just needs to be massive enough to be able to pull in the other material from that ring, but who knows? Maybe it's floating around the more distant path. Hard to tell. Or different orbit. I don't know. Ma'am, I'm just a courier. I understand that. I'm not blaming you directly. Dr. Salvato, how long have you been here? Out a year now, Doctor. And in that year, how many times have we had this conversation about late or missing shipments of supplies? I believe this is the third time. Yes, that sounds right. Three times. I will be making it very clear to your superiors that lives are at stake, and the clinic requires reliable transport. If your company cannot meet our needs, someone else will. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, understood. Thank you, Dr. Salvato. You we may return to your duty. Okay, so there is a guy in here. At least this one has mustache, so he's a cop. Yeah, I'm just here to keep the peace. You need medical help, I'm the last person you want to talk to. Yeah? Got some trouble? Oh, now hold on a minute. You're the new deputy, ain't you? Yeah, the marshal's been sending out reports, keeping us all in the loop in your investigation. That's not the best idea, telling everyone what if we have someone leaking information. Now you know I'm tracking down member of the first. And having some success, by the sound of it. Ben Armistead, pleased to meet you. Well, I guess that's the long and short of it. You're the newest member of the Rangers, and I'm the oldest. So, is one of them first mercenaries here at the clinic? She had some kind of urgent medical issue, so I'm confident she's here. Every ranger knows it's important to trust your instincts. No better place in the settled systems to get medical treatment. <laughs> you can bet it beats anything them UC piglets got. Ironic, given they're the ones who built it. I know just the man who can help you. Right this way, deputy. Please tell me you have someone in the holding cell. Just between you and me, I ain't entirely sure why someone felt the need to station a ranger out here. I'm not much more than a glorified bodyguard for Dr. Darvish. They have, like, defense turrets in here, goddammit. The council of governors. Most of the staff don't seem fond of the idea of me being here, and I ain't fond of them right back. Bunch of stuffy eggheads, if you ask me. Except Ari, that is. He's about the only one I can have a conversation with. Now, hey there, Ari. Working hard. Have to keep an eye on these work. doctors, or they'll work themselves to death. Hey, Chief. A little more of the former than the latter. What brings you by? Well, the deputy here could use some help. Came looking for someone who might be a patient. Someone authorize you to be in here? I'll see what I can do. Just. Don't well, cause any I'll leave you and Mr. Miller's capable hands. Literally standing next to a free star else? ranger, dipshit. Watch your step. I'll try to help you, but our computer systems have been having some issues. Okay, yeah, interesting. The person I'm tracking down is a computer expert. Huh. Well, we don't give the patients free access to our computer system, so uh, I doubt that's related. And still, it's worth keeping in mind. So who's the suspect you're after? Former soldier named Maya Cruz. Former soldier, huh? Yeah, they say war changes people forever. Makes me sad, the thought of soldiers who come home and don't fit in anymore. Hmm. The name's not ringing any bells, but... Maybe we can approach this another way. Do you know what was wrong with her? Uh, it was a medical emergency that required long-term care. That should help narrow things down. 
I can access the patient records from my terminal. Assuming the database cooperates, come on. It'd be enough to know that the Rangers are keeping an eye on us, but to have it be my own husband, so comforting. But you're wife of the... Okay. Okay, give me just a minute here. Yeah, I'm absolutely skeptical with all these goddamn turrets around here. Maya Cruz. Maya Cruz. Come on, Maya. I need you to be in here. Okay, finally. Here we go. Oh. No matches found for a Maya Cruz. Okay. Are you sure you know how to work that axle? Maya's here, then she's got to be using an alias. Which actually makes a lot of sense if she's a wanted woman. There must be someone who fits the description, at least partially. Yeah. Let me think for a second. All right, hang on. I know that we do have a few female patients staying with us. There's Candace... What's her last name? Doolin. Candace Doolin. And then there's the Nakamori woman. I think her name's Jane. I don't recall offhand what they're here for, but it's a start. Okay, security. If I can find the source of your computer issue, that might lead me to my. You're welcome to use the Ranger Station terminal. I'll enable admin access for you. Okay. Let's see if we can mess around with this and uh, do some hacking stuff. Admin access. Activate process. Disruptor MK4. Gain entry to VIP wing. Running. Mainframe application installed by Rivera Catalina P. Patient in a VIP section. Where's the VIP section? Staff area. I don't know. Hopefully they won't kick me out. Hello. Hello. Uh, what's our current objective? Uh, there's either a doctor or me going through Dr. Cassidy here. Okay, apparently there's nobody in here. Can I be naughty and maybe try to steal something? I really wish they would implement a feature where you can actually go pack the goddamn stuff. I'm gonna be mad, bad and I'm gonna take someone's digi pick. Hey, I'm dude. I'm sure there's someone else that can help you. Yes. I could really use your help. I need to talk to someone in the VIP wing. It's a good bet you've got fugitive hiding in your VIP wing. I need access. Uh, you're the one in charge of the VIP yes, wing? Yes, that's right. I'm afraid we don't take walk-ins. If you want a room in our VIP wing, you'll need to make arrangements in advance. Okay. What if you have fugitive hiding there? Even if that were true, which I doubt, access to that area is strictly limited. Who exactly are you? Show badge. You could be Solomon Cole himself, and my answer would be the same. No. The rules are the rules. No exceptions. Okay, well, I... Medicine, I give you my word as a fellow medical professional that I'll be very discreet. Oh, I wasn't aware. I suppose if I can't trust a colleague, then I can't trust anyone. This will get you in. Conduct your investigation quickly and without disruption. I do hope you won't make me regret this. Yeah, that medical perk does come in handy. Okay, they have a bunch of lifter robots in here. Probably not supposed to go into the warehouse. Another day. Break room. VIP. Maybe I'm gonna close the door. A little tricky for someone who's going to try to run away in case. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, 
so I already noticed that there's something. What the hell? Why am I stealthy? Is it the outfit I'm wearing? Beast Hunter refined. Yeah, I, I don't know. Okay. Why am I becoming invisible? Did I pick up some sort of weird perk, which I'm not aware of? VIP dock. So far, it's just a turret, but still, it managed to kill someone. The shit was that all about? Command override mode. Disable progress or program. Patient's terminal. Um, please select the task. See you, Rivera. Dispatch ready. System online. Sakharov. Serve a guest. I go through the dock? Inaccessible. Crap. There's a way to unlock the terminal access log. VIP amenities. We're here to serve you. VIP guests. Enjoy very best hospitality. Blah, blah, blah. Our privacy is our priority. I'm sure. Oh, man. Med pack. Medical injector. I'll take this, thank you very much. I'm no I'm a horrible cop. Urgent weed immediately. Rangers are on to us, we're uh, going to find you, and when they do the alias won't protect you, the best bet is to hunker down somewhere safe. Your hideout in the old asteroid mine in Sakharov should be ideal, maybe steal one of the clinic's emergency ship if you need a quick escape. I know you don't have much time, the operation is almost over, thanks for Helping see it through, and I don't get the chance to tell you in person. I'm internally grateful. Major Hull. Man, did they really have to kill some poor doctor? That's just horrible. I should probably report that there's a dead person. Let's actually go see if Bethesda programmed in the option to report the fact that there's a murder here on the station. Someone comes to take a look to at our colleague here. Hey, dude, you have no, a dead corpse. A kid. Ari should be able to get you squared away. I'm guessing you don't have such ac much action well, around be here. You're guessing correctly, then. Even if there was some kind of trouble, which there almost never is. Freestar secure. <laughs> Truth is, this okay. never since the clinic came under Freestar. I reckon it's to blah blah blah. I, I cannot report the fact that there's a dead body in here. Hey, ain't that some bullshit? Okay, so we're gonna go and look for the location. And it's quite a jump. Have I never been to the system? It seems like no. Okay, so what do we have in Mer 2? And that's the evacuation site. So I guess. Might be able to find the location here. Our weapons are primed and ready. Let's try to dock in and find my person of interest. And then I'm gonna still have to find that other knucklehead. Oh, well, this is interesting. Why am I going invisible as if I have Stealth Boy equipped? Is that the feature of like the gun or the suit or what's going on? Any 
anything of interest. Well, there's a camera. I was hoping I could take the damn uniform. There's like so many places where I can be seen. I'm not that stealthy. Heard your ship, Doc. If you are who I think you are, then you're here to bring me in. I had to horn you. I've had more than enough time to prepare for this. So either you leave now, or I'll be burying what's left of you. Yeah, uh, we're gonna see about that. Vacuum tape. These little desk assistance thingies are cute. This lock is too damn difficult for me. Damn it to hell. I'll take the weapons, thank you. Yeah, I'm not gonna give up that easily, princess, so... I hope you brought your A-game. The benefit here should be maybe I will still be able to reach my ship and put stuff into the cargo hold so that I'm not overcumbered unnecessarily. Looks like... Oh shit, what the hell is that? It's kind of weird for me to think that... Where the hell did the other one go to? That you, like, land on a freaking asteroid, start mining it, and all of a sudden, from the middle of it, start popping out these little shits. What would they eat, even? You know? If you have an organism, it usually does need to retain some sort of sustenance. Or be able to function somehow. It can hibernate, of course. But still... It's energy in, energy out. There's just no way of going around it. Orange, no. Backpack, steeple gun. Not really sure what the hell I'm gonna use it for. Where the hell am I supposed to go? Down here? Nah. What about these? Lots of explosives, you can craft stuff in here. About this access panel. Okay. I was probably stupid. Looks like a decontamination shower almost. Gravity is quite funky. But I don't think I can just open up this. So there's either a terminal with which I have to interact with. Or something that I'm missing. There's a cantina. Toilet. And... A bedroom. Not that much of a privacy, I'm guessing. And you know how it is. Snoring does not affect your sleep as long as you're the only person and you're the one who's doing the snoring. Once you're supposed to be somewhere who does the snoring, it's a little bit more annoying. How the hell am I gonna get to you, lady? This sucker is locked. Is there anything, anywhere, chair, sit down. Fire extinguisher, there's some sort of food. This goddamn thing. Can 
Can I pry this sucker open? No, not really. I just don't see the option to interact with these doors. No panel, no nada. So what in the hell am I to do here? Security. Thirsty. Okay. Uh, how many times do I get zapped? I guess she sabotaged it. Maybe there's another way around. No, this is just where I came from. Frontier, that's my ship. Clinic met response, inaccessible. Great. So it has to go through here. There has to be something in the security room. Some console or something. Hey, I totally missed the damn ammunition. Damn. Weights, syringes, tissues, weird stuff, truly weird stuff. What if I shoot this thing? Still not willing to cooperate. There has to be something which I'm missing, God damn it. I really have to like look into this uh, technical genius senior member of first. She's been staying at the clinic under alias, but uh, warned by Free Star Rangers who are looking for her and fled to her hideout. Astron Mind and Sakharov system. Hmm. The problem here is I don't really have the chance to. discover anything else it's just like common rooms shared rooms she's gonna be hiding in the toilet stall i'm gonna be laughing my ass off showers canisters might be able to sell those credits totally missed those there's that toy med pack Seriously, I don't see anything I can interact with. Tape measure, flip lighter, I'll be able to sell this junk at least. Minor jumpsuit, minor jacket jumpsuit, chair to sit in. Digipix, meth pack. am I supposed to do in here for Christ's sake I literally do not see a way around here do I need to carry some sort of explosive item and the drop it down by the goddamn doors and try to shoot them I'm gonna just try to keep spamming this but that ain't the way. The funniest thing is, it's not actually injuring me, so my health is not even going down. Which is just weird. Seriously, where do I go? What the hell do I do? I can get on these crystals, but I don't see a way... ...around here. The only way is through here. Do, uh, do I need to have a cutter? Cut pins. Okay. Now I feel freaking dumb as hell. Well, that was awkward. Took a little bit. It just shows that I should learn how to read. 
Let's grab some cobalt. Now, I don't know if the robot is going to be hostile or not. Because if she's a hacker, you never know. Sensors have detected possible enemy activity. I will investigate. Of course. Taking damage. There you are. Yeah, I'm gonna heal up now. It's your wire we will take. Cut our crate, no. Holy crap, this asteroid is massive. Why is this location abandoned? Where the hell is this lady? Starting to get like pop ups of enemy activity. I'm gonna start attacking the robots the first chance I get. That's some interesting design. Almost looks like some sort of rhino. Seriously, what the hell is this? And these energy weapons deal a whole lot of damage to these creatures. That's awesome. I'm really glad I decided to go with the energy weapons. don't really care about the quality of these outfits all I'm gonna do is just sell them to a merchant met packs maybe I can hack this sucker ah fudge I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm screwed up there. You have to look at the sections below in order to determine if those are going to be applicable. Open doors. Not really sure what doors. There's an outfit. I really like some of these things. Deep core space helmet. Everything has better stats on that helmet. I don't know what these goddamn crystals are. They don't have some sort of marking. Makes you wonder. So this one has better stats. They look exactly the same. Digipigs, pill bottles. I'm not sure if they actually do possess any pills or if it's just purely a container. Well, here goes something. And now I kind of wonder how the hell did the lady get through all these bugs un unharmed? And she's already injured. Damn it. Okay. I gotta say, the setting looks absolutely amazing, though. Holy crap. Like, it's, we're inside of a geode almost or something, you know?
they have low level so we're able to deal with them turns are gonna be annoying though I'm gonna turn the lights on the flashlight is gonna do the trick Seriously, what the hell do these things eat? I'm guessing they can be cannibalistic and if something else pops up, they will just attack whatever shows up. Like opportunistic predators. Why, why are you running? Do you know how tricky it is to freaking catch up to you? Holy hell. What the hell? Did you see how many red freaking arrows there were? What the hell am I getting into? What the hell is going on in here? Okay, there's some sort of interesting pack. I do know that there's supposed to be like some sort of jet pack, which you are going to be able to use. I haven't had the opportunity to find one yet. I don't know if you need a perk for it or to build it or whatever. We're gonna have to figure it out. I unfortunately lately have struggled to find enough time to just record things for the channel. So... Yeah, I'm not really thrilled about it either, trust me. I don't want to fall down. I just don't see a safe passage. Running while overcumbered. I'm already overcumbered. Seriously? Nothing? Yeah, I was starting to get a little upset there. What if I go into here? Cargo hold. Inventory. And I will just uh, store stuff. Frontier. Inventory. Can I store stuff? Compared to equipped. I think I'm too far er, now. Most unfortunate. Okay, let's try to not F this up. I know we're working with some reduced gravity and stuff like that. But that does not mean that I want to fall down to God knows what and be turned into a bug chow. Okay, there's some blood in here. Another cutter. Digi pick. Okay, this one is expert level, so we're gonna have to think really hard here. That's for a lower one. This would be a bad choice. Okay, that's for the one below. This one is not gonna work. This one can work here. Okay. How about... Okay. Meth pack. I kind of rushed in here considering the fact that she was leaving goddamn uh, mines all over the damn place. Probably not the smartest idea to just rush into a room. What the hell did I just say to my damn self? Does this damn thing go? Yeah, 
guys are really annoying. You know that, right? Because I'm gonna come across a lot of biological materials. It's gonna be a while since I'll be able to set up an actual outpost responsible for herding animals or agriculture, but the agricultural aspect you can do probably on any planet as long as you have the appropriate dome dedicated to farming. And if you have someone there who is able to actually do stuff in relations to farming. There's a lot of weapons in here. Some cobalt. We're gonna take the elevator ride. Man, this asteroid is massive. I'm, I'm shocked that this whole station is completely abandoned. The hell? Holy crap! Okay, I'm starting to get like a uh, Wolfenstein vibe here. Combined with some Borderlands. Like seriously, what the fudge? This looks like that damn Panzer dog. What keeps shooting at me? Son of a gun. Goddamn Hyperion loader. Problem here is I'm gonna run out of money this way, or money, ammo. Another one somewhere. And these are like level 20, goddammit. Hold on, uh, do I have uh, the, 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 I was hoping for the modified version of the lawgiver. How much ammo do I have for this damn thing? Yeah, this is why having a rifle perk would be useful. Yeah, these things ain't doing jack shit to... Damage these damn things. What the fudge is that? Oh crap. I don't want to die here and I don't want to use up all my freaking medical supplies. Problem is, if I have a view of the turret, it has a view of me as well. I'm barely scratching it. Level 17, beautiful. I don't really want to invest into the medical perk. I would rather go into the science. That's where I want to focus my attention. Lady, I swear to God, if you're gonna keep throwing shit like this at me, I'm gonna probably have a weapon malfunction when I talk to you. Uh, remove combat inhibitions, confirm. So this should remove the hostile capabilities of the robots. I'm not sure, but it is what it is. I don't see a room for cutting stuff. There's like a red wire. Which goes over there. She turned literally the entire location into... A freaking fortress. Is it gonna shoot at me or not? That's what I need to know. 
it's tracking me that's the thing which is making me pessimistic but i have removed the ability for these things to attack i was able to at least pick up some ah fudge seriously these things are not gonna make it easy on me apparently How the hell is it possible that I have so little ammo for the maelstrom? That shit is literally everywhere. Okay, let's see if we can... Okay, I'm gonna be here for all eternity. At least I have a crap ton of ammo for this damn thing. Yeah, I'm now totally pessimistic. I'm getting critical hits on it, but it's not shooting. I don't know if this, like, the uh, laptop only affected a portion of the damn turrets and devices, but still. I had to shoot up a whole goddamn place in order to get shit done. Okay, how about you? Even with the scope, you're dealing less damage because your damage output is much lower than the new weapon that I picked up. Most unfortunate. I'll take whatever out of these damn robots. Because your wire is something which you have to craft. Yeah, it wasn't close enough. Lady, you better hope my weapon will not fail. You're gonna resist the arrest or something, and we're gonna have a goddamn problem. At least now I know what the hell I need to do in here. Seriously, you have to do this? Dumbass. Well, what are you waiting for? Finish it. Yeah, I'm not here to kill you. You might not think so now, but it's likely to end up that way. Uh, how about I make this real simple for us both? I've got maybe a few weeks to live and I ain't spending them behind bars. You want to put an end to me here and now? Then fine. Get it over with. Life's kicked me around enough as it is. But if you want to let me die on my own terms, then leave me in peace. Uh, not until you answer a few questions. Well, how about a test? Rangers are known to be handy with a gun. <laughs> but here's a problem you'll have to solve with your brain instead. I've encrypted this slate. If you can crack it, you'll learn something useful. Now get out of here and leave me in peace. Give the encrypted slate to Alex. Am I seriously just gonna leave her here after she set up a whole goddamn asteroid to kill me? You gotta be out of your goddamn mind. Positronic battery. Should I, like, provide medical assistance? I mean, I do have the skills and the perk, goddammit. No, she just laying there. I don't want to kick down a terminally ill person, but goddammit, lady, you tried to kill me on so many occasions, it ain't funny. And that door just opened up. Okay. 
do some sort of weapon case. Nickel. Okay, seriously. I'm gonna take these because they are advanced crafting resources. I'm overcumbered as is, so I'll be storing most of this stuff anyhow inside of the ship. Spacesuit workbench, I'm not really sure if I'll be able to do anything to the spacesuit because I don't have the perks yet. I think. You can check. So when it comes to the science, I have weapon engineering. I can go with spacesuit design. And that will allow me to start uh, applying modifications. I still need to get to Outpost Engineering for more advanced things, and I want to go with Zoology, Scanning, space Design, and all that jazz. And here I need to probably unlock more points if I want to do more uh, damage. Uh, I was really thinking about the Persuasion. 10% increased chance. I think I'll go with the spacesuit for now. So the requirements for these things is to craft five weapon mods and the craft five spacesuit helmet and pack mods. I don't really know if I have any resources available. I'll definitely have to invest more into research. If I would want to have a higher statistics, uh, ballistic shielding, No mod, sensory array, increases the range for enemy detection. I need a uh, helmet mod two, helmet mod three, so those ain't gonna do jack squat. Ballistic shielding. So we are two out of, yeah, we need higher rank. If I want to deal with that stuff, but I can directly go and just invest into even equipment that I do not have equipped. Just because it's going to allow me to level up the DM skill. And I might be able to sell it then for more. So that's nice. Uh, I have uh, equipped the ballistic shielding to the gear that I do have. I want to take a look at all these little nooks and crannies. This one is even unlocked, which is quite convenient. And this must have been quite the goddamn operation. Makes you wonder what the hell has gone wrong that they've abandoned it. Maybe they run out of credits or funding or... They discovered the damn little alien critters, but I mean, after they put in so much goddamn infrastructure. So I would have to go back to Aquila in order to give the digipick to the guy or the digipick, the encrypted document. To our hacker. Why did the mission get like deactivated? I don't understand. So Cheyenne, go to Aquila. Empty nests, no. Oh, come on, dude, seriously. Okay, well, I should be close enough to the ship in order to go to cargo hold, inventory, weapons, and start storing stuff. No? Are you seriously trying to tell me I'm gonna have to get on board of the goddamn ship in order to dump all this stuff away? That's so annoying. I wanted to skip the DM nonsense, but yeah, it is what it is. I can technically probably try to mess around with the weapon mods. See what can be done. 
barrel is long barrel. Laser, laser sights. Optics, iron sights. Recon scope. Go with the reflex one. Optics, no. Muzzle, compensator. Increases stability, hip fire accuracy at cost of long range accuracy. No, thank you. Magazine and battery, armor piercing rounds. More powerful causing can penetrate even the sturdiest armor. And I need to hire depleted uranium rounds. Yeah, all of these require higher rank. Internal hair trigger, high velocity skin. No. Orion barrel, we have. Let's modify this damn thing. Optics are what they are. Grip and stock. Stability requires much higher rank, magazine and battery. I need much higher, much higher. Option. I'm just installing random stuff in order to get those perks up so that if I level up, I can go and just uh, Allow myself to sell these things for more or do whatever cargo hold inventory. Now I should be able to dump this stuff in here. Store. Store. I can hold on to you, but honestly, I'm gonna drop you off. I don't use you at all. Spacesuits. Store. Helmets and apparel. Just gonna sell all the stuff anyhow. Eight, I probably dropped off the goddamn. This one has been stolen, so I'm not really sure if this is a good thing to have because it can be considered a contraband, maybe. Who knows? No, Contraband has a different type of signature to it, so hopefully it's not gonna cause some issues. So now I'm... Ah, oh crap, I'm still overcumbered? How the hell is that even possible? Resources! Cargo hold. Yeah, I need to drop uh, all this stuff. I don't want to take things. I want to frontier, inventory, resources, and how do I store everything? And the ship is now at max capacity. I'll definitely need to mess around with the ship's cargo capacity. There's just no discussion about it. Hello. And I really want to put these two knuckleheads to work. But okay. We're gonna... Do the inefficient way of traveling. Now that I'm not overcumbered, hopefully I should be able to make that damn jump. Right? Somehow I got back on board of the damn thing. Please tell me I'll be able to make it to the Cheyenne system and to the Ranger outfit on Aquila. Oh, come on. God damn it. This is just so freaking infuriating. How much junk do I still have? A lot. What if I would like start eating, I don't know, butter? Celery, drink. I'll just give myself the worst diarrhea probably by consuming everything. I'm gonna get drunk slightly. Kefir, lemon. Yeah, if you're gonna combine the freaking uh, milk with the lemon inside of your goddamn stomach, that's gonna be some fun stuff. 
are gonna punish that toilet. Orange, peaches, pear, plum. Oh my god, plums? I'm gonna do so much damage to the toilet. Now it's gonna tell me that I'm totally b b b drunk and I cannot uh, pilot the ship or something. I'm gonna laugh my ass off. Cannot believe I liberated so much space in my inventory because I've actually ate a bunch of stuff. Oh, come on, goddammit. You're seriously pissing me off right now. At this point, I'm starting to get a little angry. And how about fast travel from this location? I'm gonna get seriously pissed if you're gonna tell me I cannot do it. Okay, now it's working. Yeah, I was messing around with uh, taking a photo in photo mod. This was one of the photos when I was looking for an outpost location. Did not go well. <laughs> I'm having absolutely horrible freaking luck when it comes to this. And I'm gonna go to the goddamn terminal and I'm just gonna start selling shit because this is ridiculous. At least these uh, uh, locations do have credits. So I'm just gonna start selling stuff. I don't even care what it is. I'm just selling it until I have some money and I have Sell from ship inventory. Weapons. Uh, I'm gonna probably actually switch to this one. Um, yeah, if I would be able to find this damn thing in a higher rank, I would be absolutely thrilled. Rare rifle. That's truly nice, but the problem is it's physical, it's not energy. So I don't know if I want to sell it. I mean, it's 2,723 freaking credits. God damn it. It's a really weird design, dude. Uh, apparel. I'll sell most of these things. Spacesuits. As long as they have the credits to buy stuff. This is still on board of the damn ship, so we should be a-okay. Don't use, that's that's hilarious, but unfortunately they are out of credits. So what I'll do is go to the other merchant. I'll have to fetch ammunition for my weapon because I have used it all on those stupid robots. That is, if he has them. And people around. tend to use Good the Aquila merchant quite frequently around. because you can sit down in the chair Wait for 24 hours so that his uh, credits respawn. And after that, you can go f and just keep selling him uh, again stuff. Uh, so, I don't know. Resources, weapons, weapons are weapons, helmets are these things. None of these have better stats. All of that is being sold. I don't know. Do I want to hold on to some of these things? And it's kind of weird that some of these weapons are of the super high or, or legendary quality, yet they sell for less than a goddamn rifle of this version. And it's it's a lot of credits, but you can get more just by doing regular commissions and stuff. I have a lot of the adaptive frames, so because. I need uh, aluminum and iron to make these, so that should not be a problem. That's why I'm also looking for a location where I can gather both aluminum and iron simultaneously. Uh, but that's becoming uh, a freaking issue. So that's why it's taking so goddamn long. I need the ammo. Spacesuits. Now, unfortunately, these don't even have, like, better statistics. That's the problem. Resources. I really want to buy back any of this stuff. What about my eight? How's my eight? I don't really want to experiment by using God knows what. 
I don't really use this, so I guess I can sell it. Antibiotics. Some of these things I want to hold on to because they do cure certain ailments. And you need those. Broken legs. I don't have anything for radiation poisoning. So I'll just sell all this goddamn food. The research projects, I should really invest into research as well. Helmets, apparel, throwable, aid, notes, misc. Digipix, no. Oh crap, I need to buy that thing back. Probably cannot sell my goddamn free star token. That was stupid. Let's pretend like that did not happen. Lighter. Pack of cigarettes, pill bottles, they're absolutely worthless. Steeple gun, vacuum tape, hookahs. Okay. 72 out of 168. I did not really acquire that much ammunition from him, which really sucks. But if I level up next time, I'm able to already go for next level of uh, weapon workbench or armor workbench crafting capabilities, and that's the important thing. I really do love the design of these aliens, though. They are absolutely awesome. I'll just go report. I'm not really sure if I get scolded for leaving her there. It's really not Where is this knucklehead? Lucas says I spent too much time at my terminal. He is probably right. Hey there, deputy. The way I hear it, you've been keeping busy jumping from one side of the Freestar Collective to the other. Yeah, it's quite like annoying. So far, feels good to be out there making difference. That's good to hear. So, what brings you by? Brought another encrypted stuff. Well, well, what do we have here? Well, this is new. Very interesting indeed. I'll see what I can do. If you can get me another one of these, it'll give me more context for the encryption and should speed things up. You're really not meantime, helping me. You be careful out there, deputy. From what I've heard, these mercs mean business. All right, surgical strike achievement. Not really sure what it's for. I'll have to look it up, but it is what it is. So... Yeah, I think I'll go maybe pick up, uh, go to the Red Mile. I'm tracking Marco. Might try to pick up a mission from the workbench downstairs or the terminal. Sorry, the terminal is the right word. And it might be just to hunt down some pirates. Better this than being some dust wrangler on Montara Luna. I don't know where that is, but okay, I'll take your word for it. Hey there. When do I get the goddamn hey promotion? Okay, so kill Oklo, Captain, Leader, Rescue Hostage, Destroy Crimson Fleet Captain at Lunara. Okay, so I think I'll go do that. And with that, we're going to call it quits for the episode. Let's just make the jump there. I'm going to save it so that we can make the jump to the other system. This one has copper, nickel, argon, chlorine. Yeah, if we get the better scanning skill, I'll be able to identify the resources a little bit better. Civilian transport to unknown vessel. Please acknowledge. Too late. OK, 
Okay, I'll have to reinvest the points into the missiles. These are some high rank pirates. But out of this range. Okay, wrong button. Credits or shit? Uh, yeah, credits. We got to resume our patrol. Stay safe. I'll take the 1,800. It seems like it's nothing, but it might help in the long run. I'll go see what's in the two pieces. I was really hoping that this would be more of a space battle thing. It doesn't really seem like I'm getting so far the missions to hunt down the fleets. But there's a lot of these crimson knuckleheads. And they have like a planet from which they all originate, so I'm not really sure if I'll ever try to go there. If you want to go for a build which specifically focuses on being outlaw, not wanting to join the rangers, be a pirate and just attack whoever and deal a lot of damage, uh, that just might be what you are looking for. And you might be able to join them. Hell, there's even an achievement for you joining the Crimson Fleet. But I don't think at this point I will be able to actually do it since I have killed so many of those knuckleheads. And I will continue to do so. Okay, we need to get to like 500 something ship parts. Awesome. Uh, do I need to scan this damn planet? Lead, chlorine, all sorts of things. There's a goddamn moon which keeps interfering. Where's my target? I'm gonna need some sort of thumbnail, but I haven't really... Figured out what it's going to be. I can dog the damn ship. I can board the vessel, kill the crew, uh, take potential contraband, and sell it. Man, for a pirate ship, they have actually nice and tidy location. I'm like surprised. Like, holy crap, right? It's not just me. Why are you looking away? Yeah, that was really bad, lady. They should have credits, 1,700 something something. And I can theoretically hop into like the pilot seat and just be able to take the ship and uh, steal it. Uh, harvested organs, so that's our contraband. And there is a specific planet where we can go and we can sell it because if they find uh, when they are scanning contraband on board of your ship, you can get into some deep, deep trouble. So. There is a system for this, and I'm still trying to see if there's anything else that might be considered contraband. Usually you have to look around these damn things. I cannot believe how pretty this ship is, actually. She has a, even like freaking pink slippers and stuff. Choco chunks, okay, chocolate and space, because why the hell not? Milk, coffee, um, Mac components. You see, I found it, I found it, I found it. So two contraband three contraband pieces that would have been awkward credits lots of stuff okay we're ready to get back so this should theoretically uh deal with the damn captain or whatever so now uh the other mission is again marked you two knuckleheads are terribly stationed in here 
so I have these three contraband things, and... I can blow up the damn ship still. Because I have taken all the necessary items from it. Destroying the evidence, and okay. So, if I recall it correctly, we need to fly to a specific system. So, Altari, I think it's in the wolf system. The den. Why is it... I probably don't have the capability to make the damn jump. Fuel consumption. Unexplored route. What the hell are you talking about? The problem is, if I go through some other system... Bernard store. Probably never been there. I'm just afraid what's gonna happen... If they scan me there, because unfortunately once they start scanning your ship, you're kind of screwed. And you cannot jump out of the system, which I think is uh, dumb. So this is the Bernard store. Helium and lead. Okay, so there's just like one planet next to goddamn sun. Interesting. Well, not sun, sun. You know what I mean. So we're gonna go to the den. I haven't really showed you the den on the channel. Just in order to sell the contraband, because there is a merchant from the Free Star Collective. And he's gonna take the contraband from you, no questions asked whatsoever. Ever. So that's at least nice. You need to get to like 500 meters or so in order to be able to dock. Still quite far. And unfortunately, despite the fact that it's showing me that the harvested organs have certain value, I'm not going to be able to get the value specifically for it. I would have to invest, of course, into the perk when it comes to trading in order to get more out of it. So if we both board this sucker. And I'm gonna go. Need some work done? And this is the guy who we are looking for. Hello! Hey! Hey dumbass! Talk to me. May I? Good to see you. I'd like to see what you have. Deliver message. So we have also picked up a commission, so. Thank you. Did you have any trouble in route? Can you at least like look at me? It was smooth sailing. Good. Very good. Here's your pay, and your continued discretion would be appreciated. So I'm even doing a side mission just by... If there's anything I can, can do... Can you, like, seriously look at me? I'm gonna shoot you in the back. God damn it, dude. So, uh, what do we have? He is, uh, we want to sell stuff, and I'm not really sure where the hell is it. So, yeah, we have harvested organs, and, uh, we're gonna get rid of these things... These sell for quite the nice amount. I'm gonna give away the stolen digi pick. Uh, coffee bags. I don't know. We can sell even stuff from the ship. But, okay. I'm not really sure why do I have this food in here? Or why do I have freaking med packs on board of the damn ship? Resources, I'm going to have to hold on to them and I'm going to look for a location to set up the outpost eventually so that I can showcase it. But yeah, that's going to be it for the episode. A free star ranger selling stolen organs. It still seems like this is going to be a long, long mission to do, but it's still just a bunch of fetch quests. So yeah, with that all said, I'm going to wish you a pleasant rest of the day. And hopefully I'll see you all at the next one or in the comment section. I'm not really sure how my upload schedule is going to be in the nearby future because I will have to do some overtime and stuff like that. It's it's work related stuff. And I also have to deal with some other nonsense. So I'm going to see what's going to happen. 
but I really do hope that you're gonna enjoy the content in the meantime. I wanna take a look at the uh, Black Skylands and all these things because I have heard some terrible stuff since the game has been fully released. So there's, there's a lot of things that I wanna get into, but I just don't have the time. So please be patient with me. And in the meantime, enjoy the content on the channel, like the 100 Ds and video games and so on and such. Thank you all for watching and bye bye for now. Really, I'm gonna have to invest more into the research.